What is up guys, Restless Dude here and welcome back to my Barcelona career mode. Last episode we entered the January transfer window and said farewell to Busquets as he joined RB Leipzig. And in return we signed Javi Galan from Celta Vigo for depth in the left back position. We also got drawn against Marseille in the Champions League knockouts. And we also played the Spanish Super Cup but unfortunately Real Betis beat us in the semis. Which was actually our very first loss of the career mode. And Real Madrid are ultimately the winners of the Super Cup. And speaking of cup competitions, we kick off our Copa del Rey campaign in this episode. And we may also play this first leg against Marseille in the Champions League round of 16. So before we get started, help the channel grow by clicking a like on the video and subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. So there was a comment saying that we should give Ter Stegen the captaincy rather than Araujo. And you know what? Fair enough. Ter Stegen has been around here the longest, so I think it's only fair that he gets the captaincy. Also, because it's the month of January, I decided to update a few kit numbers. So Balde will get PK's number 3, Kunde will get uh, Busquets' number 5, and Yavi will be our new number 6. First game of the episode is against Oviedo in the Copa del Rey round of 32. I'm going with my second team, which should have enough quality to beat this second division side. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh no 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 no, I think I overran here, and what's gonna happen here? Oh my god, how did Iñaki Benya survive that? Bellerin, Cornejo, back to Bellerin, now Gabby, Gabby out to Torres maybe? And Torres is on side, for a second I thought he was gonna be offside, but Gabby manages to both time the pass and even sneak through a player, and we are 1-0 up against Oviedo. Dembele, Torres is making a run, Torres is true, Get, does he have the pace? He does, and he shoots at the near post to make it 2-0. I'm surprised that actually went in. I thought either the keeper was gonna save it or the defender was gonna block that shot, but no. Somehow we pulled the shot off, and it's 2-0 against Oviedo. We'll have this game wrapped up in no time at this rate. Gabby, another power shot maybe? Oh my god! Man, these power shots are one of my favorite things in this FIFA. I was not expecting that to go in, but Gabby delivers once again. Just look at the distance, look at the power, look at the accuracy. Gabby is a special talent. I, I, I don't know what else to say. And we are 3-0 up. Maybe we can just jump to result at this point. Yeah, let's do it. Jump to result. And we actually score a few more goals. Oviedo do as well, but in the end it's a 5-1 win. Just days later we have our next opponent in the Copa del Rey and it's Albacet. Going with pretty much the same team with the only change being on Sufari in place of Dembele. Anderson. Gavi. Pablo Torre. Back to Gavi. And Gavi scores again! That's two back-to-back -back games he scored. And again, it's a very special goal. I thought that was uh, gonna be saved, because that looked like it was straight at the keeper. I wanna see that again. Yeah, Pablo Torre lays it off for Gavi. Maybe the keeper should have done better there. That's just my opinion. But hey, that doesn't take away from Gavi's, anything from Gavi's goal. 1-0 up against Albacet. Alonso. Out to Pablo Torre. What next? Out to Ferran Torres, maybe? Ferran. Out to Ansufati. And this time Ansufati makes no mistake. He had a chance earlier, pretty much from the same position, but he put it wide. But this time he keeps it on target and makes it 2-0 against Albacete. How did we not win the ball there? And this is not good. Come on. Don't let them get, get back into the game. And luckily that's offside. Okay, this is looking dangerous. Oh my god, I made a mistake there. Come on, Garcia. Please block it. Oh, no, 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 this is not good. And they actually get a goal back. I thought we were gonna block that cross. But the ball just basically goes through us. Well, I guess it's game on. Okay, this is looking dangerous. Oh my god, how does that ball go through? And Albacet actually tied the game. I can't believe that true ball. Yeah, credit to that true ball. I, there was nothing I could do about that. 
And that's uh, the end of regular time. Alba set actually force extra time. Wow, this is not what I expected. I expected a simple win here. Maybe I was overconfident. Jesse on the run. Lewandowski is making a run. Lewandowski. Lewandowski is true. And Lewandowski comes off the bench to make it 3-2. What an insane game. An insane game this has been so far. But it's not over yet. There's still 20 minutes, I think, to go. Yeah, around 20 minutes. Jesse. Lewandowski is true again. Can we seal the game right here? Lewandowski hits the, hits the post. I can't believe it. That should have been the sealer right there. Pedri. It's... Okay, I think I messed up there. Yeah, I messed up. Vanderson. Rafinha. It's Pedri. And we sealed the game. Yeah, we screwed up the initial attack, but luckily the, the attack still goes on and we make it work. 4-2 against Albacete, less than uh, 2 minutes to go, and yeah, we are going to the quarterfinals of the cup. There we go, the full-time whistle, a much closer day game than I expected, but in the end we get the job done. We're on transfer deadline day, there's still time for us to make some signings, but I'm pretty happy with the players we have right now. We have both the quality first team and even our second team is pretty good. Moving on, it's the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey, and we are set to face Sevilla. This is a game we should take seriously, so I'm starting a mix of first and second team players. Oh no 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 no, this is not good. Oh my god, please don't score. Come on, grab it. And Yaki Pena with a great save there. Out to Lewandowski. But we need some support here. Cornejo. It's De Jong. Out to Pedri. And the keeper makes a save there. Both teams already having chances in the first 10 minutes. Cornejo. De Jong. Across maybe. And Eric Seder is straight at the keeper. Oh my god. How do they go through us? And just like that Sevilla score. I don't know. How do we not get the ball in those instances? The ball just seems to go through our players. Someone stop them. Stop them, stop them, stop them. And Yaki Pena, what are you standing around for? That was such a such a simple header in my opinion. You could have just uh, stood on your feet and grabbed that. Maybe I should bring on Sir Stegen for the second half. Dembele. De Jong. It's Pedri. Why straight at the keeper? I wanted the top corner that, in that instance. De Jong on the run. Okay, we have to score this. Come on. Okay, we gotta go back. No time to celebrate. We need one more. No time to celebrate. One more goal, please. Pedri. Come on. Lewandowski, what are you doing? Volley it next time. And that's the full time whistle. Sevilla knock us out of the Copa del Rey. I don't know what happened. Why did Lewandowski just pass the ball to the keeper there? That one chance, that should that would have drawn the game for us. And that's another cup competition we're eliminated from. I am so disappointed in my team. We did not deserve to go out like that. Well, all we can do is move on. Gonna quick sim this game against Mallorca with my first team in La Liga. What's gonna happen here? And we get a 2-1 win. Rafinha scoring a brace. Gonna also quick sim this game against Girona with my second team because we have more sages days later. What's gonna happen here? And it's another win for us. Garcia and Alonso scoring the goals for us. So with those wins in La Liga, we are still 12 points ahead of Atletico Madrid who are in second place. But now it's time for the Champions League. We've already been eliminated from the Supercopa and the Copa del Rey, but there is no way I'm letting us get knocked out from the Champions League, especially to a team like Marseille. I am going all out in this match. Jesse. It's Gavi, Lewandowski. Out to Gavi, maybe. Gavi is true. And we take the lead against Marseille inside 9 minutes. Again, Lewandowski and Gavi linking up. As they've been doing all season. Gavi. Lewandowski. Out to Ansu Fati, maybe. Can he make it there? He can. But it's straight at the keeper, and it's cleared away. 
out to Rafinha who kept himself on side and on Fadi, oh come on Ansu, just volley at first time or something. Oh no 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 no, don't even think about scoring, you don't deserve to be tied against us. Oh no, what a save from Ter Stegen. That could have been 1-1 right there. Ansu, Pedri is making a good run, can he make it there? Yes he can. Pedri, Pedri may as well go all the way, put it straight at the keeper. That should have been 2-0 to us. How are we only ahead by one goal? Balde, out to Rafinha, who kept himself on side. Okay, that's a failed pass, but play goes on. It's... Okay, what just happened there? Was that the defender or did I screw up there? Gabby, Lewandowski, Rafinha, out to Ansu Fati. And finally, we get our second goal. It's been a long time coming, this second goal. We should be like 3-0 or 4-0 up by now. But somehow, we just have to settle for two goals for now. Ansu Fati grabs our second. And we have some breathing room now. De Jong, out to Dembele, who kept himself on side. A cutback, maybe? And Ferrantoros comes off the bench to make it 3 0 against Marseille. I could say the job is done, but this is the Champions League. I am not uh, gonna, uh, gonna just celebrate just yet. Yeah, 3 0 against Marseille. I, don't st I still don't feel comfortable. And that's the full time whistle. We're gonna take a 3 goal advantage into the second leg. The job is partially done, but there's still the second leg, so... Yeah, I don't, there's still a job for us to do. I know it's Marseille, but even they can cause problems. Now we have a game against Almeria, but I'm just gonna do a quick sim with a mix of first and second team players. And we managed to get a 1-0 win. Now we're up against our closest contenders for the title, Aleko Madrid. We win this game, and we should have a 15-point advantage at the top. Uh-oh, this is not good. Carrasco on the run, come on, block the, sh block the pass, and we do. What are they gonna do here? Okay, they lob the ball in, but that's easy for Ter Stadium. De Jong, out to Dembele, come on Dembele, unleash your pace. Dembele, out to Ansu Fati. Oh my god! I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. Did you see the way Ansu Fati scored that goal? We gotta see that again. Dembele with the cross. And then just with his back turned to goal. With a back heel basically in the air. <laughs> yeah, this is such a great angle. I can't believe that actually went in. Well, that's one way to take the lead. On Safari Magic. Uh oh, this is not good. And Griezmann in immediately gets uh, a local back into the game. And he actually ce celebrates. Well, that, that lead didn't last long. Now it's Balde. Out to Ansu. It's Ansu. And this time, All Black makes a save. Jesse. Gavi. Finesse shot, maybe? Come on. That was so close to another stunner from Gavi in this career mode. And De Jong nearly scored that chance as well. That, that second goal is coming. It's just a matter of getting our finishing on point. Kunde, Lewandowski. Onsu, it's Gavi. Again, all black with the save. How many more chances do we need? Vanderson, Lewandowski, it's Rafinha, and finally we get the breakthrough. 2 1 against Atletico, Lewandowski with the assist, and Rafinha with the finish. 2 1, thoroughly deserved, considering all the chances we had in this match. De Jong, out to Rafinha, who's made a great run. Lewandowski is also on the run. Let's do this, and Lewandowski seals it. 3-1, 6 minutes to go. We are getting this win, and we're gonna extend our advantage at the top of La Liga to 15 points. Believe that. Rodrigo De Paul. Wait, what happened? Oh, I think 
uh, one of the DLA uh, players took a touch on that shot, and it con it's considered an offside. Ravinia out to Lewandowski. Lewandowski in a one on one. Come on, Lewandowski. Lewandowski is true. Ah, uh, hits the post, but it doesn't matter. In the end, it's still a 3 1 win for us against Aleko. We're gonna get through another game, this time against Telche. Quick simming it. What's gonna happen this time? And LJ actually beat us. And that means our unbeaten streak in La Liga comes to an end. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Anyway, second leg against Marseille in the Champions League, but considering our 3 goal advantage, I'm just gonna play the highlights of this game. Oh, we have a penalty next. In the second half already. Well, a chance to make it 4 0 on aggregate. Okay, gonna go top right. Will it go in? Yes, it will. The keeper was so slow to react there. He basically started to dive when the ball was already in the back of the net. Anyway, Lewandowski strikes again, and we are 4 0 up on aggregate. And there's probably more to come, as we have a solo run right now. Rafinha. Out to Lewandowski. Yeah, can Lewandowski grab his second of the night? He absolutely can. 2 0 up on the night, 5 0 on aggregate. Another solo run for us. What's gonna happen here? On Sue. Out to Lewandowski. Can Lewandowski complete his hat trick? And he does. On Sufari with the assist, Lewandowski completes the hat trick. 3 0 up on the night, 6 0 on aggregate. And there's still time for us to grab even more goals. Christensen. Anderson, Christensen, Lewandowski out to Javi, and Javi gets on the score sheet. 4 0 up now in this match. 7 0 on aggregate. And that's the full time whistle. We get a 4 0 win in the second leg. 7 0 win on aggregate. Two clean sheets. Lewandowski with a hat trick. The perfect round of 16 for us. I'm excited to see who will get in the quarterfinals. In the meantime, we have a few relatively easy games in La Liga to get through. Quick simming this game against Kadi, what's gonna happen here? And it's a 2-1 win for us, with Gabi Galan and Kessi scoring the goals. Quick simming against Valladolid, what's gonna happen this time? And it's a 4-2 win for us, on Sufari scoring 2 goals, 1 for Bellerin and 1 for Kessi. This will be our final quick sum of the episode, and then we'll call it a day. So, going with my second team against Vaya Kano, what's gonna happen here? And Ferran scores a brace to get us a 2 1 win. And so, we end up the episode now having a 14 point advantage at the top. So, we are just 4 wins away from being crowned La Liga champions. And let's not forget about the Champions League, as we have the quarter final draw. So, let's see PSG beat Leverkusen, Juventus get through Spurs. We of course destroyed Marseille, Chelsea edged Sevilla on penalties, Aleko Madrid dismantled Napoli, RB Leipzig surprisingly knock out Liverpool, Manchester City get through Inter, and Real Madrid get through Dinamo Zagreb. So let's see, in the quarterfinals, we are set to face Aleko Madrid. Oh boy, lots of history between these two clubs, especially when it comes to the Champions League. Alego Madrid is known to be Barcelona's bogey team in the Champions League, as they knocked out Barca both in 2014 and in 2016. Hopefully third time's the charm for us. Anyway, in the other sides, we have Real Madrid vs Chelsea, PSG vs Juventus, and RB Leipzig vs Manchester City. So yeah, huge games coming up in the next episode. For now, thank you all for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, Restless Dude out.